A very important specification of a transistor is known as the beta of the transistor, which is the amplification factor. And I've got a setup here that I'm going to use to figure out the beta of two NPN transistors. This is the wiring diagram of the picture that you saw. And rather than put a current meter in the circuit, I'm going to use Ohm's law to figure out what the current is that is going through that 503 ohm resistor and also the current going through R1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the voltage drop across each resistor and then use Ohm's law to figure out the current through each resistor. The 503 will give me the current for the collector and R1 will give me the current for the base. Here is one NPN transistor. The voltage across the 503 ohm resistor is dot 587 and the voltage across R1 is 5.72 volts. Now here is the formula for figuring out the beta. We need the current for the collector and we need the current for the base. So using the results on the first transistor we've got the current for the collector and then current for the base and then when we divide those two we get a beta of 65.73 now my next setup I've just got another transistor that I'm going to plug into this exact same setup and here's the results for it we've got 2 dot 76 volts across the 503 ohm resistor and we have 5.43 volts across R1 and here are those results this transistor has a beta an amplification factor of 325.44 Here is my next setup. I have changed the configuration just a little. And here is the wiring diagram. And this time I'm going to have a scope and an audio input. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug each transistor into this circuit and we'll see what it looks like on the scope. And I'm going to start with the higher beta of 325.44. Okay, here I'm plugging in the NPN transistor with the beta of 325.44. And it looks pretty good on the scope. And take that out and plug in the other transistor that has a beta of 65.73. And you can see that it doesn't look as nice. And now I'm going to adjust the bias resistor so I can get a good clean signal 
Okay, taking that transistor out, and I'll put back in the transistor of 325 beta. And notice that I've got to adjust it, of course, in the other direction to get a nice signal again. So what we just saw is that one of the characteristics of a transistor, the amplification factor, the beta of a transistor, will also have an influence on the biasing of the transistor. And of course this is going to be very important if you're wanting to build a push-pull output. It will be very important to match the characteristics of both those transistors as much as possible. Thanks for watching.